Getting started as a forensic photographer. Start here first. This person is a very important part of the police investigation. They have a keen eye and a unshakable patience for the kind of work that they do. The person I am speaking highly of is the forensic photographer. I know the fingerprints, evidence gathering for the court trials and lab are of importance, but the crime photos are a very important piece of crime scene puzzle. The camera can pick up on many things that the investigating law enforcement officers did not notice with their naked eyes. The camera can spot a small article of clothing, a overlooked footprint, or even a suspicious person in the crowd. One of the most important elements of forensic photography is the photos need to be crisp and sharp. Any deviation from this will make for a useless photo for the investigation. The forensic photographer is important because the crime scene is developed the photographer must when the photographer must take a round of photos of the untouched crime scene. Nothing should be re removed or touched until the photographer has taken the first round of photos. This process is called freeze framing because it's as close to being the actual crime as you'll get. The photographer usually has three main shots, a close-up, a mid-range, and a wide shot. The angle is of most importance when taking photos of a crime scene. Taking a shot with the wrong angle could be termed misrepresentation of the object in question. To read more articles like this, visit ReviewDSLRCameras.com, ReviewDSLRCameras.com.